Hey, it's Ethan with ComTech. Today I wanted to go over what our process looks like when we receive a service ticket. Some of you guys have asked for this, so I wanted to go over that. Now, what I'm gonna do here is, uh, I do wanna highlight, we do have a very intensive process in the background with flow charts and lots of fancy stuff like this. I am a little bit technical, so I could certainly go into that, but I know that you won't stick around for that. So I made it super, super simple. Um, so there's really three steps on, as far as you're concerned. A lot of the other stuff happens on our back end, but you submit the ticket, we triage it, and we, uh, you know, we assign it to a tech and they work it. So let's go over that. First thing is, as far as ticket submission, you have three different options. One, you can go to the client portal and submit a ticket if you are a ComTech client. If you're not a ComTech client, then these other two options will work fine for you. Email, uh, if you just shoot an email to support at ComTech NC, you can always go that way. It goes right into our ticketing system. And then the final one is, of course, you can pick up the phone if you would like. Um, I will highlight that these two are a faster method. And the only reason is because you'll immediately receive a ticket confirmation email, and it'll immediately go into the system. When it comes through the phone, we have to listen to a voicemail or, or listen to someone speaking on the phone and process that and type it all out. So whichever way, doesn't matter. But these are a little bit faster. So let's go through a couple of ticket submission uh, tips. More information is absolutely better. You can't put enough information in there because the more information you put, the more information it allows us to you know, allows us to see and then triage properly. Um, explain urgency for you. So this is a big one. Any chance you get to explain the issue and how it is urgent to you. If your printer is down, I'll give you an example. If you shoot an email and say, hey, my printer's down, that is can be urgent. It can be urgent if it's payroll day and you have to get payroll out and you need that printer to do it. Or it could just be, hey, my printer's down. If you get to it sometime in the next week, um, then that would be great. So if you can explain that urgency, that's great. If you can't, we're still gonna work with it. Uh, and then the other thing is, is I kind of just mentioned it just a little bit ago, is when you submit a ticket, even if you call and leave a voicemail, make sure that you're looking for that ticket confirmation, which will come in via email. Uh, if you don't get that ticket confirmation within five or 10 minutes, give us another call or, or shoot us a message because that means we didn't get the ticket. It's extremely rare, but I just wanna highlight it. Now, we're at the next step. So the triage step is what we're gonna be looking for, I'm actually gonna throw a number of these down here, is we're looking for how many people are affected, how are those people affected? You know, is it a printer? Is it a server down? Is it a phone system outage? Um, do we have a deadline? Did you tell us, hey, I'm in accounting, I have payroll, and I have to have it done by three o'clock, or I have a meeting at two o'clock, and I've got to get on this meeting. We, you know, we're not promising anything in that case. Use the emergency line if you need to. But if you tell us, we're going to do everything we can to bend over backwards to hit that deadline for you because we know it's important. And then do we need any inform do we need any more information? So the triage person, when they're looking at this, they're going to look at it and say, hey, they didn't specify the deadline. Uh, and they can even potentially reach out and say, hey, do you have a deadline for this? Or I don't know, you know, you just said call me. Um, and, you know, something simple like that certainly slows things down. Uh, and then of course the final thing that person will do in the triage process is assign it to a qualified technician. So if your issue is specifically server related, we're gonna send it to the best technician that is for servers. Now, we're at the third step. We're at the third and final step. I told you it's pretty simple. Uh, technician, when they get the ticket and they begin work, typically they're gonna pick up the phone and call you. Um, now you can specify, I think this is in my later slides, you can specify and say, hey, don't, don't call me, I only wanna do this via email or however you wanna do it. But they typically pick up the phone just because normally it's quicker to pick up the phone and say, hey, can I jump on your machine? Can I do this? That sort of thing, instead of trying to email and schedule a time. Then once we're done, we're gonna follow up uh, after the work is complete, typically with an email saying, hey, we did all of these things and we're closing this ticket out. And that's it as far as the technician work. I know I'm skipping a couple of steps, but uh, extra tips. So I already said it. You can specify 
how you would like to communicate. We have a number of clients who say, that, you know, they submit a ticket and they say, shoot me an email when this is done. You don't need to call me. You know, I'm running around the plan or whatever it may be, and I'm not at my desk. Just shoot me an email. There's nothing wrong with that. Every reopen ticket, uh, a manager reviews. So I don't know if everyone knows that, but I want to highlight that because if you reply back on an existing ticket, then a manager is automatically notified. And we do that primarily because um, this right here, actually, we, res we monitor response and resolution times. So when in part of this resolution times, we want to ensure that, the, that not only are we responding quickly, we're resolving the issue, and ideally we're resolving the issue the first time. Um, that is what our goal is, is not to put a Band-Aid on it. So anytime somebody reopens a ticket, a manager is immediately notified and we review it to ensure that we're responding quickly and we're resolving the issue uh, as best as possible and we're doing it the first time. Now, we do have a couple of frequently asked questions I wanted to cover. So some of uh, our clients have asked, how do I know if I submitted enough information on my ticket? When you receive the ticket confirmation email, it's gonna give you a list of things that say, hey, here's all of the items that help us triage. If you just read down that list, and if you say, oh, I forgot, you know, I forgot bullet point C or whatever it is, then feel free to reply back and say, hey, here's the updated information. That's the best way to figure that out. Can you reopen a ticket? Yes, you absolutely can. If you just reply back to any ticket that's closed, you can reopen it. I will highlight one small thing here. We do ask if you're working on, let's say an email password reset and you're, you finish that ticket out. Three days go by and you have a phone system issue. We ask that you submit a new ticket so that way we can keep the ticket separate uh, and we can keep the different issues separate instead of just replying on that original ticket. If you apply on that original ticket and our techs see it's something completely different, they'll separate the ticket, so no worries, but we do ask you to try to separate them if you can. What happens after hours? So here at Comtech, as of right now in 2024, we are a Monday through Friday eight to five shop. We do have an after hours support number for all of our service contract clients. So you guys get that as well as phone service contract clients you guys get that, you can call that and you will go through an after hours option. Final one that I have is, in, is there anyone I can speak with if you feel, you know, if you're here, you're one of our clients and you feel like, I don't feel like I'm getting an adequate response. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not just saying this, this does not happen very often, but I'll also be honest and say we're human. Some things fall through the cracks every once in a blue moon, it's gonna happen but we have set up a system for you to be able to report that. You have a client success manager or an account manager, you can reach out to them, you can reach out to management. There's a number of ways that we go through in the onboarding process to tell you how to do this. Um, don't be afraid to comment on here. We wanna hear from you. I want to ensure that you're getting the service that you feel like you deserve and you do deserve. And with that, I'll leave it up here at this screen. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or go out to our website. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.